Okay, I just wanted to show everyone another nice feature of the Zygor uh, leveling guide. It's the Zygor Talent Advisor. What it does is when you reach levels that allow you to pick talents, which is level 10 and higher, it will, uh, from a preset, uh, I guess, talent tree that, uh, that you've chosen out of a few of them, it will show you exactly which one you should be picking next. So I'm just going to hit level 10 here by killing one... Uh, one mob here and show you what the interface looks like. Okay, well it looks like we got a visitor visitor and we'll take care of him. watch out for that bear as well. Normally these guys don't spawn right when I'm trying to do a video. That's really not nice of them. Oh, there we go. So I better show you the rest of this before uh, another one pops up. So you'll see over here we have improved aspect of the hawk is the one that it says that uh, we ought to be picking here. So we'll just choose it. And I don't have the preview turned on so that picks it up automatically. You can have the preview turned on. It'll ask you if you want to learn that talent. That's fine. So I've chosen that now. So I'm just going to quickly open up the interface before more bears show up. And down here we have the Zygor Talent Advisor. You can select a build and you can choose no target build in which case you uh, get to do your own. You can do the leveling build or you can do the PvP build which would be more appropriate uh, I suppose for a PvP world. Uh, in addition there is uh, builds available or there are builds available for your pets if you have pets. I'm not sure about the Warlock but for Hunter it does have that. Um, unfortunately you don't get the um, uh, any sort of talents to pick for pets until you hit level 20 or the pet hits level 20 but uh, that's fine it does show that so uh, another one uh, show advice balloons uh, target uh, show target builds uh, talent ranks and open the talents frame as soon what that does is just pops it up just exactly like I showed you when uh, when I hit the level so that's all there is to this one uh, nice another uh, little feature here for you and uh, if you are interested just take a look at the link at the top right and uh, you can learn more about the uh, the guides. Bye for now. So I just wanted to add a little bit more about the uh, talent advisor. Uh, a talent tree that pops up automatically is only as good as the the tree is. So um, just wanted to let you know my experience so far with the the talent trees that I have used compared to what I was using before. Uh, I've played Hunter, Death Knight, and uh, Rogue using the Talent Advisor, and so far I have to say that the speed at which I can kill things and the reduction of downtime so far has been better than any other tree that I've picked up. So this is not just a convenience; these are actually really good. Uh, uh, these are really good talent trees that they've chosen, at least for the uh, uh, the classes that I've played so far. So again, for for Hunter. Uh, the uh, the talent tree that they are advising, at least for the PVE, is uh, mostly Beastmaster, which of course, uh, until you get a, a pet, really isn't going to make much of a difference. But then again, you don't get talents till level 10 anyway. Um, so again, uh, it's a, it's more than just a convenience. This is actually going to help speed up leveling, which is the whole point of the guide. All right, that's it for now.